God, this was your first Western. What was the preparation process like? How long does it take to learn to ride a horse like that? I had to train for three months just because I had read the scripts and knew that I was galloping through rivers with one arm and all that. So I live in Michigan, so I got a, a rodeo guy who trains the mounted, the county mounted police right. guys. So he was a real Horse guy. Horse cops. Right. Real yeah. guy. And oh. so he got me so I, I could gallop and all of that. And it's, it's oh, 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 you get the rhythm and you're <laughs> yeah. there and you gotta look cool and you gotta, it's all rhythm. And then you get there and it's the Kentucky Derby. Oh, man. Wow. They, as the Wranglers say, he's gonna be energized. Yeah. That We do 30, 30 horses up and over the, first you're going up 15 feet and then 200 yards. Man. And they all think they're in the Kentucky Derby. He yeah. said, the horses think they're in a race. So they're going. And we had one guy, first take, first day, first scene, first morning, flipped <laughs> off the back. Oof. Bam, I got there, I hit the mark, I made it. And you can see the ambulance coming around mm. from behind the cameras before they've said cut. He's already concussion protocol because he said, yeah, I can ride. I can. And the last, the second to last day of shooting, Fell off the horse, broke my wrist. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Still broke. Broke. Oh, broke. Man. We have one more day of shooting. So I'm on morphine. <laughs> I'm on morphine. <laughs> that's and how the I act. Warm yeah, that's how... At 11 in the morning, 10 degree wind chill in the middle of New Mexico. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and the wrist is like a steak knife is in the back of it. And I also thought I tore my knee. So I was just standing on a mark saying what I had to say on the last day of shooting with... But you're recommending writing. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, you're really yeah. selling me on this. Jeff, obviously you can play off that with Looming Tower. You're shooting this thing in New York. Um, what are the sort of the conversations, the fears going in about how it's going to be received? There are, are plenty of, of families um, who may find this cathartic. They may find this... Terrifying. I didn't get the vibe that the family, or that the family was, uh, or extended family was interested. Mm -hmm. um, so out of respect, mm -hmm. I just I didn't go there. Our office knows more about Al Qaeda than anybody. WFO will be playing catch up, and they're a pawn of Alex Station. Schmidt just wants the case over there so we can direct it remotely. John, calm down. I, I really wish people would stop telling me to calm down. There are bombs going off around the world. That doesn't make me feel calm. I want you to calm down because you're right. I'm sorry? You're right. You should have this case. That kind of opens you up to kind of do what you think John was thinking and all of that. But that to me is more important, is, is telling the, the narrative. I mean, the, and getting the essence of whatever the story is. Like, obviously, you don't look exactly like him and speak like him. It would be impossible to assume that. Right. So I think there's a but very... But you get the spirit, you get the, get the, the strengths and weaknesses, <laughs> and, and based on true events and things they said most, some of the time, and then you fill in the rest. Yeah, with you, exactly. And you're yeah. trying to honor the spirit of yeah. the, the, the emotional truth. And the what? guy you care about for, with me per, was Ali Soufan. Ali knew him and, and studied and was or was with him for years. How'd I do? And if you get a thumbs up, which I did, you're done. Your agents were saying, don't, don't do Dumb and Dumber, don't get off the oh, Oscar yeah. train. What, what was that we're conversation? We're begging you not to do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why? Why and why do you feel so confident? Because that there yes. were three agents on the phone the night before I was to fly the next morning to do wardrobe for Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> three agents, one in New York, two in L.A. The two in L.A. were going, we're going to stop you. You're not going to do this. You're a serious, important <laughs> actor. We're trying to get you to the Oscars. You keep defeating us. <laughs> Stop doing that. And this will be the end of your career. Frankly, Jim Carrey's a comedic genius. With all due respect, he's gonna wipe you off the screen. Mm -hmm. Say no, and we'll, get, we'll take care of it. Mm. I said, you know what? I'm bored with the career. I wanna change it up. I'm living in Michigan, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. I need to go from Dumb and Dumber to anything remotely serious, and for my world, in between there are all these jobs. Because right. if you can do this and you can do that, so I said, if the, if this is a mistake, guys, it's mine. But he's, I'm going. He, he's such a good actor, and that is what makes him such a great comic. As are you. I mean, the the roles you played in in that movie, they were 
big swings and you needed the acting chops to make the specificity of those characters real. I think that's why people say comedy's harder than drama because you've got to be real at an, at an even heightened and exaggerated place. And so that's probably, I don't know, if I were you with your talent, that's probably what I would have been saying to myself and what these agents might not have been factoring in was like, no, no, I'm going to go do this and I'm going to be great at it because I've got the acting talent to, to be really, just every bit as funny as Jim Carrey, which you obviously were. Are well, you still no. with those agents? Uh, one of them, yeah, one of them. The, the one that's, the one that's, 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 that's right. Yes. <laughs> right, please, join us out. Hi, I'm J.K. Simmons. Hey, it's Michael B. Jordan. Hello, I'm Claire Foy. I'm Sandra O. Oh. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter Roundtables on YouTube. Watch it again. <laughs> and again.